Um, good morning. It's Friday, 28th of April, and I am, I'm gonna try and do a vlog today. I think I have like vlogged um, oh, a couple of times recently and then not, not edited it um, or put it out. So I kind of feel like in some ways that's good because I've had the practice, but without the pressure of uploading it. So let's see if today is the day when I feel like I can actually upload something. Um, I've been watching a lot of Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful or um, This Little Wonderful Life. Is that li Little? This Wonderful Life? This Little Wonderful Life? And um, I just love her vlogs. The April vlogs. I'm really enjoying them. I'm catching up still. But... Um, really enjoying them. I'm enjoying like how normal she is. <laughs> like her vlogs are just her day and it's not like forced to be anything more interesting than as interesting as her day is. Like I find people's day-to-day -day routines really interesting. I, I just love watching people go through their day because <laughs> uh, I really also like homespun house vlogs because they, they Molly also and Robert they also just kind of vlog what they are doing you know don't get me wrong I do love watching like one-off vlogs where something is happening because that's like realistic but there are some vlogs out there where you kind of feel like every day is something wildly like adventurous or I don't know dramatic <laughs> but um not thinking of anyone in particular but like yeah some vlogs are just kind of like oh my life is so boring but actually I think something that's been really nice about watching Ali is that it's made me appreciate my days and how my routines like are interesting yeah it's very easy to think that your life is like monotonous or yeah repetitive and boring it can be really easy to, to when you're reflecting on your own life to think about that I think you know same routines every day but actually there are little things in most days, I'm not going to say every day because some days are <laughs> monotonous and boring, but there is often something interesting and wonderful to be found in just an ordinary day. So let's see, I'm not saying that today is going to have anything interesting in it, but anyway, <laughs> I am just, just sitting down with my planner to have a look at my to-do list. I've got a market tomorrow with my clothing business um, so I'm just finalising um, some things for that, making sure I've got everything. I could do a bit more sewing if I wanted to. I always kind of plan to sew the day before a market and then I get to the day before and I think actually what would be worse? Would it be worse to be like, this is everything I've got that's in my box now? Or to spend the day sewing and still not finish everything that I start and then still not have everything but have used my day sewing it? Because I haven't got another market until July and I like to... I don't want things to be hanging around for too long because... They get creased really easily if they're like in the boxes for ages and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I, 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 I don't like to sort of, I don't want to start sewing now for July is what I'm saying, because um, I don't want things to just be hanging around for two months. So um, this, this market is like a sale 
and seconds and samples and like getting like so I'm gonna try and like get rid of as much stuff as possible try and sell as much stuff as possible so that I have like a fresh um range of things for my market in July so yeah so I think I'm gonna take I was gonna make some more little hats but I think I'm gonna take that off my list unless I get to the end of the day and I'm thinking to myself I've got time that I'm happy to spend sewing even if I don't get things finished. I'm gonna take those off and do some other more important things. Um, yeah, I was gonna to podcast today, but I actually don't have a huge amount to talk about. And sometimes I feel like, you know, if I've got lots to talk about, then a 50 minute vlog is great, but I could still talk for 50 minutes and not really have anything to say. You know, I'm six minutes into this vlog. I feel like I've maybe said some some things, but um, but yeah. So I am going to knit a little bit. Something that's on my to-do list for today is I need to finish this sock. And get it photographed. And then insert the picture into the pattern for my bookshelf socks and then I think the pattern is done um I've still got people test knitting it which reminds me I need to reply to a test knitter um I've still got people test knitting it but I've not got I've not had any new feedback for probably over a week um I think I've had a number of people probably like half my test knitters have finished the required number of socks. Um, I only required people to, to knit one. Um, and yeah, I think most people have, have knit one. Um, quite a few people have finished a pair and somebody has even cast on a second pair. So that was exciting. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that, um, that I won't get any more feedback. Um, so I can like finish finish up the pattern, wait for the end of the test knit, and then I'm hoping very much that I can release the pattern on the 8th of May. Test knit finishes on the 7th, but as I would say, I've not had any new feedback, so I think it's safe to say that the pattern is ready, which is just terrifying. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully the 8th is the day that it will go out. I need to do some like promo of that. I'm not very good at like promoting my own work. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, got my to-do list here. Would like to do a little bit of, it's actually quite a short to-do list to be fair, now that I've removed a few bits and I did finish a couple of jobs earlier in the week and I think I finished I've been on it on my to-do list this week and then I'm gonna make a no beef rendang I've never had a rendang before is that how you say it I'm making that for lunch I think because the children are both out today so it's a perfect opportunity for us to eat something that the children would never even look at <laughs> and um yeah, at some point later I'll have to go and get Aiden from school and then I'll have to pick up Rory. Can't show you that bit. But um, I've also then got my Sylvanian families out from when I was little. Um, and Aiden loves them. So um, they are... Let me show you. They're just over there. Ready for when he comes back from school on the way to school he was like don't forget to get them out when you get home i'm going to say sylvanian families all the way to school so that you don't forget so he literally the cycle to school he's like sylvanian families sylvanian families sylvanian families it was like whoa <laughs> okay so yeah anyway i've talked for 10 minutes it's not what i was intending to do um i'm going to watch a little bit of oh, maybe watch a little bit of critical role i had this thing yesterday I was like, yay, it's Friday. 
there'll be a new critical rollout. I'm so happy. And then I was like, oh wait, no, it's Thursday. It'll be on tonight, which means I'll be able to watch it until tomorrow. And then I realized, actually, no, it's the end of the month and they don't record. They don't put out um, a new episode the last Thursday of the month. <laughs> but um, that's fine because I'm catching up on um, campaign two. So this like last week gives me a chance to, to watch some old episodes. So yeah. I started reading a new book as well, but I might talk about it later because I could just sit here and like blah, 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 blah all day. See you later. So I finished the sock and got some pictures taken of it. Um, I will cast the other one on later today. Um, and then I just picked up my I'm working on a toe up sock. And I was like, just wanted to get the heel turned, get a few more rounds in on it. Um, so that it's like easy knitting um so there we go really should sort of put it down now and um do something else but um it's just so easy to knit on so i kind of want to keep doing it but i do have um some other things that i should be doing so yeah it's um uh 10 to one um we just had some like toast and um because my husband's got an appointment um which i didn't know he had so he's um gone out for that and then i'm gonna make this um um meal thing for us to eat when he gets back i'll show you the picture And it's from <laughs> the Speedy Bosch cookbook. It's all vegan um, recipes. So I'm going to make that for when he gets back and we will eat that quickly. And then I will go and get Aiden.
maybe it'll be better when it's cooked a bit longer. <laughs> lunch was actually delicious so that was good um just having a cup of tea and then i'm gonna go and get rory I got aiden before just gonna see what he's doing he's playing with my sylvanian families <laughs> are you enjoying the sylvanians aiden <laughs> yeah, he's loving them. So it was quite nice because there's no vehicles at the moment. A lot of um, play ends in like things crashing and smashing around, but because there's no cars or anything, um, I don't. I don't have any cars or didn't have any cars. Um, so they don't. Um, the like Sylvanian animals aren't like running each other over and stuff, which is how. All the games seem to go at the moment, so it's quite a nice change of pace. Uh, yep. What did you say? You got one? Uh, Uno. Uh, Uno. Uno. <laughs> you have to sit down now that you don't, it's not your turn yet. Okay, so I've just been doing some tidying in the garden wasn't going to vlog anything today but maybe I will um, and I just moved a brick and let me see if I can show you uh, what I found if they're still there oh yeah okay don't know if you're going to be able to see though So there was like a brick, there's some bricks here, and there's a brick here which I just moved. I was going to use it to replace Got some stones here, but they're a bit sharp. I was going to use it to replace that, and I think it must have disturbed him. There he is! Oh my gosh! That's so cool! So now I'm like, how do I get him to stay forever? But that's kind of amazing because... There's like no water near us. Like, how did he get here? <laughs> Gosh, he must have come a long, long way. And now I've got two frogs in the house sitting on their lily pads here. <laughs> so it was quite nice because they were just complaining about how they were bored. And I was like, and they're hungry now, obviously. I was like, find something for you, find something to do for yourself. I'm in the garden tidying. And then I like run in. Boy, boy, there's a frog in the garden. <laughs> so that's that done. So now um, I think we're going to do some frog art. I've got to figure out how to do frog art now, but yeah, I'm going to do some frog based art. to go and collect Rory. It's hot in here. To go and collect Rory and I also on the way need to pop into the hospital and get a replacement um, of his hearing aid. Um, I don't know what is wrong with it but it's not working. We changed the battery um, and it's still not working so I need to get that replaced. And I'll talk a bit about it later, actually, because it's a clever piece of kit. And if you don't know how this kind of hearing aid works, then you might be interested to know. So, off I go. It'll probably take me 10 or 15 minutes to get to the hospital. And then how long it takes to pick him up. Pick up the thing and swap it over with this one. And um, then go and get Rory. So, thank you.
Hello, I've had success on all fronts. Here is, yes, Aiden? Right, well, I'm about to start making tea. I had success at um, collecting Rory's hearing aid. Just checking to see if there's a battery in it. Don't think there is, there isn't. Um, so yeah, here we are. This is what this one looks like now. There's no sticker on it because it's uh, taken that one back. But this is a, it's called a Baha, which stands for uh, Bone Anchored Hearing Aid. And oh, obviously I've turned that on and then put it back in the box, which is silly. Just... Right. So there we go. So that's um that's Rory's hearing aid, that's what it looks like. And um, it sits, it goes on a band like this, and he wears it on his head. I'll maybe insert a picture. Um, and so this bit, this bit, pops onto here. Like that. And then this sits behind his ear, and the headband obviously goes round to keep it on. Um, and it like takes in sound and then um, like vibrates the bones in his ears um, and allows him to hear. So yeah, Rory has um, mild to moderate hearing loss um, caused by glue ear. So it's something that he will grow out of. Um, and we think he's already um improving a lot so i'm just gonna get an onion yeah, we already think things are improving a lot um his speech has come on um like massively in the past few months and his like he's not been wearing his hearing aid as often in theory he should wear it all the time except like when he's asleep or in the shower or swimming or whatever so um but he kind of knows now like if it's run out of battery and he kind of has an opinion on when he wants to wear it, he doesn't always want to wear it. I imagine it's not the most comfortable thing. Um, and so we don't really push it because his speech is coming on so well. We don't push it like we did to begin with. It was like all day, every day, but now it's, he wears it at nursery, definitely, because they've got so many children to, um, wrangle we don't want him to like miss out on uh, being called to do something because he couldn't hear them <clears throat> so but yeah so that's um that was when we was hearing it that we that I collected um i don't know what happened to the old one it just like it was turning on it was like something was loose or something like that so it wasn't like vibrating properly this skin, skin is really there we go <laughs> um yeah it's like it wasn't vibrating properly or something so um, so it wasn't, wasn't doing anything, which was obviously no good. So yeah, I called them, I think I called them on Friday, probably middle of the day. And um, oh, I think I vlogged it actually. I think I was vlogging that day, whatever day it was. And um, obviously it's been a bank holiday weekend and stuff, so it's fine so they only got back to me today but then it was you know they called me while i was out today and um like this morning and then i completely forgot because i could have picked it up when i was coming back from the city because i went into the city today um so yeah i could have picked it up then um all the way back but i forgot completely forgot so um i picked it up uh, when I was going to get him from nursery, so I'm like pretty pleased with that, you know. You know yeah, I've not been particularly on the ball about getting in touch with them that it was broken, so I'm not going to complain that they didn't call me back on Friday or yesterday. So, 
So I am making tea right now in my much messier than usual kitchen. Usually I am like much more on the ball about having things like tidied, but like I say, I was out um, in the city today, so I couldn't do that. Um, so yeah, we had a Tesco delivery yesterday and I feel like even though we were kind of just like stocking up on like the week and then all of the essential things that we run out of, like we get big um, tubs of peanut butter because we eat a lot of peanut butter um, and we don't have to buy one every week. So there's like weeks where we're getting like the weekly shop and then like top ups on all of those like big things. So, um, so yeah, it kind of feel like everything is a bit, we've got extra things, like some, some things that don't fit in the cupboard, like these bars haven't really, we don't, we've got too many of them, so they don't fit in the cupboard. So they're kind of just living on the side right now. So I'm going to put them up here on top of the microwave. Um, and like, porridge oats. Don't know, uh, where are we going to put those? Just need to eat a lot of porridge. So yeah, I'm going to make some spaghetti bolognese. And then I've got sign language class tonight, which is quite exciting. I've got tonight and next week. And those are my last two, like, taught sessions and then in three weeks time I have my final assessment for level one. Sounds like some shenanigans are happening in there. So right, on to spaghetti bolognese. talk today. I'm just going out to um, signing class. I guess I said this before. Um, yeah, just going out to signing class. And um, sorry, I'm just going to plug you in. Um, yeah, and then um, and then that's it. <laughs> then I'll come home and hopefully we'll have I'll be awake enough to read because for the past couple of nights I've not had my bedtime reading time and it's been a bit sad. I missed it. It's kind of a new thing. I used to read a bit a lot and then like recently I've kind of just gotten to the point where at the end of the night I just want to watch TV. So we've started trying to like watch a little bit of TV and then at about nine or so we'll make a cup of tea and um, take ourselves off to bed and um, read for a little while. Actually having said that I think we maybe read a bit yesterday. I can't remember but anyway. Um, no it wouldn't have been yesterday. We had a Tesco delivery yesterday. Anyway so that's what's happening now. I'm going out. I'm very tired. So yeah I'm not going to record there kind of trying this out no idea how this is gonna work I want to do like weekly vlogs that's what this is gonna gonna be so this is gonna be a bit of a funny week because I think I recorded a little bit at the end of last week that you will have already seen but this is me now having decided what I want to do and I want to do yeah like a little weekly vlog 
it'll go out on a Monday and it will be like a Tuesday to Sunday vlog or like I guess a Monday to Sunday vlog or something like that um yeah probably mostly with weekend stuff but also just a little bit of this kind of thing me chatting in the car so anyway I'm gonna go and um I can't decide if I want to listen to an audiobook or some music I might listen to an audiobook why not let's see Thank you.